It's only outside Pontevedra's central perimeter that cars can move with relative freedom. In the old town and surrounding streets of this 80,000-strong Spanish city, pedestrians have absolute priority. And in just over two decades, it's changed from being a city in decay to an attractive place to live. Elena moved here from Madrid to cut out commuting and for convenience. Everything here is pretty close. I have the health centre almost behind my house, the hospitals also close by. I have several supermarkets under my house, in fact, so nothing essential is far away. There was a 7% increase in the number of shops and restaurants in the wake of the reforms. Innovations to emerge, this sports shop also serves as a meeting point for runners and cyclists. People go out to stroll around the city and that's a big benefit for local businesses who get more sales and make a bigger impact. The changes started in 1999, first with the pedestrianisation of the old town, then with a strategy to ensure the transformation was seen as positive. Every city has its main commercial street, an artery that defines its character. If you pedestrianise it or make it pedestrian friendly, you're transmitting an image. What's modern, what's cool, what's contemporary is restricting cars. The city council created Metro Minuto, a map similar to the subway maps of big cities with walking times between different places. It helps. It encourages you to discover the old districts of a city like Pontevedra, enjoying every corner. Road traffic is limited to 10 kilometres per hour inside the city centre and only during short periods of time. Since the authorities updated the city's planning, Pontevedra has achieved a milestone. No pedestrian has been killed in a traffic accident in over a decade. They've also sought to make the city safe at night. This is achieved through illuminating dark zones and ensuring maximum visibility for pedestrians in areas where there's interaction with cars. The lights adapt to the human rhythm. They're whiter in the first hours of darkness when there's still activity and then they mellow. It ends up as a pleasant, peaceful light that doesn't pollute from a visual point of view and invites us to rest, to be calm relaxed and ultimately to sleep. In 2014, the United Nations named Pontevedra Europe's most comfortable city to live in. Now the city council's goal is to extend pedestrianisation.